You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to check out a vintage Nerf gun for you. Now, the one on the left, this one here, the Max Force Gator, I've already done on video and shown that, so I'll put a link to that one. I might take it out of the box and put them side by side. So let's move this one out of the way. It is a full video with me shooting it and testing it out. Now, this one here is, look at this, is the Max Force Stinging Scarab, which looks like a scarab beetle, okay? And then these wings open, looks like his legs up front open and close. I'm assuming that's his, oh, wings and claws. Snap open for battle. Snap and blast. Now, when you look at a vintage toy like this, you got to think of, Back in time. You can't, like, base it on today's standards. It's a 1996 Hasbro Kenner. Imagine back in 1996 you were playing with something like this. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't you think? Now, let's see here. There's one I'm missing. I don't have this one here, the Whiptail Scorpion. I think that would complete the set. So if I ever find the last one, I will put all three together in a video. All right, here we go. Flip down handle to steady your aim. Go into attack mode, activate wings and claws by pulling legs. Okay, so there's a couple steps there. And there's a pull and reach, uh, release rear legs to launch dart. It's a Kenner toy. Let's see here. Here's the instructions. Launch tube, launching tube storage post. So there's storage posts on top. Slide a dart all the way onto the launching tube. Store other darts as shown. So they're kind of coming off this area here. And then lower handle from the underside of launcher. So that's uh, that was what was here. Apply label here. So I have to put some labels on. Pull back on rear legs as you aim at your target. Release rear legs to fire. All right. So back in 1996, you got to think, hmm, it's a lot different the way Nerf guns were played with in regards to all the different battling and different guns that are available today. So if you had this, you were probably pretty cool. At least I would think you would be cool. Let's see, ASST number 60470, 61304, $7.99, originally $19.99. Now, I would say they're pretty hard to find original in the box like this. I got lucky and found them two or three years ago in a store that had them on the shelf. So I bought the three that were left. I have two of these, one still sealed. This one I opened. And then this one, they did not have the third one. All right, well, let me do this. I will stop here. I want to just check. Now, let me let me try to open it with you here. Sometimes these older toys are a little harder to open, but let's just see kind of the excitement for the first time, having a unused Nerf gun. I know the collectors out there are probably going to be mad at me. Okay, so this I don't want to break this tab here, so... Got to be careful. I've had things just explode in videos, <laughs> trying to be careful. Okay, and it looks like there is a cardboard insert here. Let's see. All right. That's for the front of the gun. First time out of the box. Very cool. Would you be excited to get something like that or find it like this? I think you would. All right, simple enough. All right, to get this out, I'm going to have to open this. Okay, now I remember how it all goes back together. Looks like there's even a plastic piece in here to protect the back of the gun so it doesn't go through the cardboard. And one sticker. I remember the other gun using more stickers. I thought I had to put more on, but... And then you get three darts. All right, let's get this out of the bag. I'd really like to get a scissors. Let me grab that real quick. Okay, because I want to try to preserve the bag as best as possible. Look at that. Pretty cool, huh? I would say from pure aesthetics, it's a neat-looking blaster. And then there are three darts, so let me... Get these out of the package. Still very pliable and usable. Okay. And then let's turn it over. So there's the flip handle. Let's see, where do they give you the instructions for the decal? It's 
says apply label here. Looks like the round label is what I'm applying. Let me see, did they show it on the front? Yeah. So this is kind of the way they have it. They have it going towards the person shooting. So let's get this out of the package. I'm going to apply it. I don't think I did on the last gun. I don't remember. I have to go back now and review my own video. There, that adds a certain coolness to it, doesn't it? But I will keep the original piece and this in there. And then dart storage. I think dart storage is here. Here. Right? And then put your main one here. All right, let's see. Let's go back. Let's double check we have everything. Dart storage is correct. Now lower handle, okay. Just takes a thumb in there to lower that. And that's what you're holding. Ooh, look at that. So when you pull it back, it did say something about legs too, didn't it? Let me see. It says lower hand, okay. Pull back on your rear legs as you aim at your target. Release rear legs to fire. Pull and release rear legs to launch dart. Go into active attack mode. Activate wings and claws by pulling legs. That must be these back legs because there's no other way to activate this. So you activate and then you launch, right? Okay. So let's just see. So I could activate and it doesn't shoot the dart, but if I pull back, it does launch it. Look at that thing. I think it's cool just on its own as a vicious looking bug. Now how good does it aim and how good does it fire? Ooh, this came out. I'm going to have to set up my targeting system to find out. Alright, so let's just take a look at that. Now while we're looking at that, I'm just going to grab the other one out of the box. While we're here, I'll do it now so you can see them both. This one was pretty cool too. Let's see, did I apply the decal? I did, all right, good. Look at that one. So this one also had a handle on the bottom. Pull back, and it's inside his jaws. All right, so let's at least get a poll on this. Which one do you like better, just visually? And then the darts are in here. I will show you. I think I actually, look, I left the darts sealed. No, nope, I didn't. So I opened this a little bit and I put it all back the way I found it. And then even the sticker sheet is still in here. So you can see. And then there was this little booklet. So while those are there, let's take a quick look. I showed this in the other video. I'll show it again now. It's really neat looking at all the older toys. This has got Legends of Batman in it. More Batman. G.I. Joe Extreme. I'm sure some of you remember these toys. You grew up on them. Beast Wars. I like Beast Wars and the toys. Superman Man of Steel. Now, I've never really collected Superman or Batman figures or Star Wars. I've probably had hundreds of Star Wars figures cross through my hands. Mask, never seen any of these toys. This looks like a spinning tornado, like a top, almost like a wizard. Gargoyles, I've never had any of those toys. More gargoyles. The preschool Tonka line. I've actually seen plenty of these little trains. Tonka Farm, never had. Tonka Preschool, never had. Tonka Mighties. I have this whole set. I have this, I have this. I have this, I have probably both of these, I've never shown them to you, but I know I have them all. Ah, oh, here's the Nerf guns, check them out. The Sneak Shot, the Double Crossbow, the Crossbow, the Sharpshooter 2, Ripsaw, look at that one, that one looks cool. The Chain Blazer and Secret Shot, all very cool blasters, plus the Balzuka. And here's even more. This is the one I want to get, the Whiptail Scorpion. I've seen them out of the box. I like showing them in the box with all the pieces so you can kind of really see them. Oh, neat. 
All right, I don't think I've actually owned any of these. The Rocket Storm, never. Hyper Rip Rockets. Nerf Balls, I've got a, I've got a ton of Nerf Balls and Frisbees in my collection. I don't, I've seen, you've seen some of them. Nerf footballs of all different kinds. All right. I don't have the brain ball. Hmm. That looks interesting. Let me set up my targeting system and then we'll come back and we'll test them out. All right, I am back. I have my targeting system set up and it's, every time I look at this, I think such nostalgia. When I did this gun here, there was nothing even on the targeting system. I just remember it was the blue board. So now I actually did something last year, I think, late last, early last year, is when I set this up and added all the stuff to it. But it's really, it needs some more things. I've got this whole left panel on this side with nothing on it. And I got these little targets in another set, so I thought they'd work good here today. So I'm going to test out both guns. Let's start down here. Let's move this one away. So when I tested this one, I didn't have any of this stuff. I think it was just stuff on the tabletop. Wow. And you know what? I have so many guns to show you. I just haven't shown them. It's been a while. There used to be a series every Wednesday or Thursday. I would show a new electronic toy gun. You know, all the different ones that are out there. Nerf guns. I have other guns that I've never shown you. So maybe this will spur me back on. Or you let me know in the comments. How's that? All right. So I'm going to shoot middle dart on his front to that. To those three targets. Here we go. Good, so now I'll just pull this off. I'm gonna stay on that target. I'm gonna see if I can stick a number 50 on an angle here, here we go. Okay, so my aiming, is it my aiming or is it just the way the gun works? We'll see. Let me try another 50. All right, let me do the same thing now with this one. I'm gonna go for the three on the, on the left now. Ooh, it stuck right to the board. I missed it totally, though. This one's a little different to load. You have to open open them up. Open wide. Okay, I think it actually hit the back and then bounced and hit those. Let's see if I can hit a 50 with this. I'll do this again. These are fun. All right, here we go. 50. Missed. Let me do it again. While I'm here... And I can easily grab that dart. All right. It's almost going too fast, I think. This one shoots faster than the other one. It's bouncing off. Okay, that hit the 20. Let me reset up. I think I want to just focus on that targeting there. And then I'll grab all the darts and shoot them both again. Now I'm on a totally different angle. This is where I'm going to be shooting from so you can actually see the gun work. I noticed when I was cleaning up one of my darts actually hit the side of the can and stuck. So I don't know when that actually happened. Alright, so let's try this one here. This is my new favorite now. So I'm going to be right here so you can see it. So now it's going to be blurry over here. Hopefully it stays in focus over there, but at least you can see this action. Here we go. Alright. That's the tens. It seems like I'm going to be destined for tens. Oh, spoke too soon. Ooh, on 40 and 30. Not bad. Let's try this one. This one shoots pretty hard. I mean, when I look at older toys like this, you have to have a totally subjective stance about it. So you can kind of, you know, think way back when. Ooh, that was a ricochet. I know, I've got those, those cans. i got to put my sixth can in. I'll set this all up again. Ooh, it actually hit that dart, I think. All right, I'll be right back with all the darts and do it again. All right, slight camera angle change because I want to try to get that Stormtrooper in. But i got to hit a 50 or at least something in the yellow. So this gun I will do... With that, to try to hit that, here we go. Man. At least I'm hitting the target, right? Ooh, I hit that other dart. All right, so let me go for my Stormtrooper now. Ooh, I closed the handle on this one accidentally. Here we go. 
Ooh, right in the eye. All right, so I've hit that. So now I'm happy about that. Let's go back down. I'm gonna, I gotta hit that 50. Not doing that. All right, here we go. Ooh, that's so close. Oh, that just fell off his eyeball. I'll be right back. All right, all six darts with this blaster. Here we go. Aha, got into the 50 zone. It's gonna be harder now. Is the aim bad? I'm gonna say no, it is not bad. It's the shooter. So I'm getting a little bit better, kind of aiming a little bit differently. You have to just... Now look at that pattern. Now if I could hit one in between there, that would be monumental, wouldn't it? And I think it hit another dart. Hold on. Here we go. Wow. Let's get a close-up of that. What do you think about that? I would say that's a pretty good pattern, right? All right, so I'm gonna do one more thing here. I noticed on that other video in the comments, people saying you should do some kind of slow motion. So let me go for these cans. And then what I'll do is I will use this as my target, the cans, and then hit those. I'm gonna use the six darts on the one gun. So the first hit, hopefully is the most exciting. So let's see if we can get a dart to stick again to the can. So I'm gonna aim for that bottom center can, right? That's the most important can. And I hit it. And I hit it. How about the 400? I hit it. I could set these up. How about I just set them up a little bit different? Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna set them up the same. This way, if I get another slow motion shot, this tends to fall on me after, like it takes me a couple times to get this set up right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Action. Nice, but I got a couple standing, so here we go. One more standing. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the overall gun. Again, being so old, and still working, I noticed this is offset just a little. That needs to be there. So my blue didn't spin very good. So I'll end with this. Thanks for watching. Which gun did you like better? I'm going to say this one shoots a little bit better. They both can aim. And then I, I, as far as coolness, I don't know. It's hard to beat that. So I'm going to go for the 400 end with that. And as always, thanks for watching. Let me know. I'll put up a poll. Do you want to see the rest of my toy gun collection? I need to know. Here we go, number 400. Uh, links in the description. Thanks for sharing and supporting. Later. Oh, I can't end like that. Three tries. Here, let me do this. There we go. Let's get some spinning action here. The yellow. Oh, I like it. And now, the white. Got it. I just had to do it. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. 
What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.